the greatest angle or lighting, but currently just we're just chilling at the moment, right, Dan? Yeah. Got yeah. a kick, cat chunky. And we've got Marty's crackling spicy vinegar flavor. So I'm gonna snack on these because we're gonna need the energy. And that's why I'm having chocolate because it's fast energy and then a fast crash as well. We'll try this for the vlog. We're, we're gonna film everything at this point. Oh yeah, that's much better. <laughs> yeah, oh. Let's use the actual lights in this place. I don't think I've tried these. Spicy vinegar flavor. You wanna try some? Not a chocolate. These are decent. So basically, Ed and I have a few meetings, about an hour meeting, and basically you've got to get ready and go to the theater at Solier for Martin Rivera's 4D concert. So, four decades, damn. That's a long time to be doing this. Although I don't follow him that closely, from what I've seen with all his relationships with pretty much every artist in the Philippines, every well-known artist, he's like the godfather. I was gonna say godfather. <laughs> he just gives well. off that vibe, yeah. like that's the guy to know. We know a guy who can get us backstage passes, production passes, but it wasn't. It was until after we were told that that we found out that Regine was going to be performing the night. So you know, the night just is, is just getting better and better. And fingers crossed this could be the redemption moment. But we're not gonna jinx ourselves, we're not gonna expect it. Because if you expect it, you gotta set yourself up for disappointment. Mm -hmm. So we're going into this with the thought that it may happen, but possibly not. But I'm feeling pretty confident right now because everything seems to be falling into place. So this is the vlog you guys have been waiting for. Hopefully you uh, keep it together. I'm putting it out there into existence. I know you said not to expect it, but just don't let your emotions get the better of you. And We'll try and make sure the quality the quality is on point. Yeah, quality was never ever questioned. I think the reason why I got really emotional the first time was because I had zero expectation of meeting anybody. It was my first trip to the Philippines to see Regine's concert and the sheer sort of like determination from everyone else around me, like pulling together and trying to get me that moment with her. And her accepting that, that was just something I've never experienced. And I think it was that emotion that got me. It was the, the helpful, helpfulness of the people around me. But this time, there's gonna be no tears, only only happy, smiley faces. Probably a relieved face as well, I'm guessing. Probably. Finally. Also, your moments with these artists, oh my God, this is spicy, is what sparked these vlogs. My man, this guy met Richine, <laughs> Katrina, <laughs> and Morissette all in, what, five days? Yeah. And it's Begoy. insane. And Begoy. Yeah. This is when they were very popular too. They're still popular now, but you know, in terms of like reactors, they were getting like some big crazy views. Do you know what? I didn't really know you much back then. I just knew I was aware of your like I was aware of you and I knew that you would like Morissette. I, <laughs> so I filmed with Mori. I was just like, oh, this guy's gonna hate me. <laughs> I, lo I love that I got there first. I <laughs> know, I bet you Dude, I bet you love that you have that one up on me, the, the first one to yeah. do it. All the hugs I had with was like, ah, I gotta say, um, You know, part of me, like, actually, no, that was my genuine reaction. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <"Hell."> <laughs> I was like, I need to get my shit together. That's what really just pushed me to go. When I knew there was a concert coming up, I was like, there's no way, I can't miss this. Yeah. And look at us now. Yeah, look at us now. Like, best buds and... Rock stars, uh, mate. Maybe I... I don't know, maybe I'm thinking a bit too favourably here, but I, I I think because we were kind of like some one of the originals that kind of did the Filipino reaction stuff, and of course all the fans are trying to get all the other reactors to come over, and we've done that already. I feel like we've sort of almost ignited the vlog side of people as well. They're, they're starting to get to more vlogging stuff because the people expect that. Yeah. No, uh, no, not even the artists. Oh, just other, other reactors. reactors. Yeah. True. I feel like they're now starting, like we've almost paved the way for them. That's, you know, if you're coming here to see them, that it's expected that you vlog. You're, uh, what you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind seeing some other reactors come over here. Maybe some of the ones that go further back that have been reacting for a long time. Just to, um, I don't want to say validate their channel, but it just shows that, hey, you weren't just in this. For views. For views that. and stuff like that. Just saying that, just because they come to the Philippines doesn't mean that's not what they're still in it for. But it would be nice just to have that 
you know, I mean, in you, their pocket. We come here a lot, a lot of the times to create content, but it's to create content for you. So you get to enjoy what we get up to in the Philippines and meeting the artists and showing you sort of like a, a look into, a little window into their world. That's kind of why I do it. Not so much like, oh, look who I've met and you haven't. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, these are the people that I've been watching for the last five years, six, six years, in fact. And although I like sharing what I'm doing, and to an extent we do film it so other people watch it, obviously. But more of it is just because that's what I want to do. Yeah. And uh, I need to capture it. Because there's a lot of stuff that I captured and I haven't even posted. So it's just, just really having it. The fact that it's going to get views, people want to see it, is a bonus. Yeah. I mean, if we went on just views alone, I probably would have started vlogging a long time ago. Oh, uh, yeah. I started doing travel vlogs since 2008, before I even had my YouTube channel. But I did that because it was my personal thing. That was like something I could look back on in the future. And these vlogs are just an extension of that. But also to share with you guys. That was quite a nice moment. I, th I think that was nice. Yeah. Might even record a reaction or two a little bit. <laughs> Definitely not today. Not today. Maybe uh, after our music video. I mean, like the following day. That was lovely. It's currently pissing down outside. The river has turned to shit. Vanessa has just texted me to say that it's raining cats and dogs. So we're stuck in traffic. Oh, so we may not see it tonight. We kind of have to, really, because no, we're no. shooting tomorrow. She sent across the invoice. I am scared to open it. Well, as you can see, the buildings have practically disappeared. It's absolutely chucking you down. Bloody up the, the city over there. You can't even see it. Look at that. It's gone. There is nothing to see here, guys. Just rain, rain, and more rain. So we're supposed to have a production meeting any time now with Vanessa, our producer, who's doing the TV show. Um, she's saying it's raining cats and dogs, so it means she's running late. We've got some commitments later on in the day, and we don't want to be rushing and have overlap, so kind of hoping she gets here quite soon to discuss all the arrangements, the timings, that sort of thing for tomorrow. And she's also sent through an invoice, which I haven't opened yet. I'm very nervous. I'm not. We've kind of discussed costs and we know how much it's going to be costing us anyway, but just the fact that it's now like an official document mm -hmm. certainly scares the bejesus out of me. And just to clarify, obviously they've got it from your explanation, but this is all financed by us two alone. Yeah, it's a self finance project. So I open the invoice. Go for it, mate. Oh, that's bright. Let's see what we've got. Just oh my god, that's a big document. Oh, that is scary to look at. All right, so it's an invoice to me because it's going through my business account. It's more professional. Yeah. It looks better that way. Yeah. So <gasps> there's an extra little fee. What's that for? Bank fees. Uh, okay. When you make international transactions, there's Fair usually enough. a little extra on top you've got to pay because it's, it's an international this, transaction. This isn't the total though, is it? This is the services for the crew. So oh, yeah, yeah, it's, true. A, it's a crew yeah. invoice, mm -hmm. so it's pretty bang on what we expected. So you've got the producer um, and the prep to shoot for her role. We've got two camera operators. See, that she's put the Sony A7S III. We, she told me two black magic cameras. Either way, it doesn't really matter. We get two crew. So there's the production coordinator. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> uh, production vans, we've got van hire because you know we've got to get places um, a cash float which i think is just for like miscellaneous odds and sods type thing and bank fees just giving us a total all looks pretty good so we are on track yeah and i'm excited we've got a celebrity chef we've got a celebrity tiktok star is that a thing i think it is a thing in this generation yes. so yeah. Um, so we've got two great people attached to the project. Um, we've got a family that we're going to work with and spend time with and have some karaoke with. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I need to think of a song too. I want to I I sing my heart out after a few beers. I do get some of that uh, deep uh, heartache <laughs> just out of my system. <laughs> I can kind of lie. Uh, that's definitely on the list. I think that's it, isn't it? That's really the main bulk of the show. Mm. You know, a few days ago we were just kind of stressing out, we weren't, we weren't sure of what was confirmed and what wasn't. Yeah. But now that everything's pretty much in stone, yeah. we're good to go. Yeah. I well, think I even got to Singapore, 
So I was already, I would say, halfway here, but I was pretty much here. And we didn't have any of that confirmed. We didn't even know if we're definitely filming tomorrow. <laughs> you know what's funny? You were stressing out in Singapore, and while that was happening, I was just <laughs> drinking my life away. I was like, I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, we're, in, we're in a good space and really all we need to focus on now leading up to that is just getting a few hours sleep yeah we need to make sure we get some rest otherwise we're going to be on those energy drinks for the next two days yeah we've got a 4 a.m call time so we need to be up earlier than that and then we also have a late night tonight we can make it work do i can i can function on four hours do you know i almost tempted to do if we get to meet the artists before the concert, does it matter if we leave early? <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't. We, I was ashamed to miss the finale, but we've kind of done and we don't, most of and it. And we're not out we're not out cameras, so then that would say that we only do it to True. I don't know. And we're not, it even depends. Paying, we're not even paying for the tickets either, so <laughs> we're not losing anything. And we don't know if we're gonna get recognised here, so we may get stopped. It's just like a possibility of like time yeah. dragging over. Yeah. Ideally, yeah, an early night, and then we got a nice, <laughs> say nice, an early start tomorrow. It's an ungodly hour, but it is what it is. When you you got to sacrifice yourself for a few days for a TV show. The main focus really for us is just to get the content, like yeah. be ourselves, be ourselves, and just we just have to trust the people around us to do their best. We just have to give them the content to film, which is different for us because we're usually doing everything. Yeah. I'm so used to being in control of everything, we want everything to go absolutely perfect. So putting that trust in other people is also, I wouldn't say a stress, but it's lingering in the back of my mind. It's like, did you get the right angles? Is the audio good? See now, <laughs> you know what I mean? The difference is that these guys are working professionals. That's in true. That, and it's so, yeah, that yeah. already, for me, I haven't got to think about the audio now or think about the camera angles. I can just say, Hey, this is what we want to try and capture. Like when we meet the chef, we want to get like mid shots of us all chatting to each other and then close ups of us actually doing the things. And a lot of it's pretty, pretty standard if like they used to shoot in live events. So this is new for me, basically. Yeah. Putting my trust. I'm used to you, like if you need a, like if I need something filmed and you're there, like I don't have to worry about you. So you're probably as close as it's come to me doing this sort of thing. Yeah. It's different if you were to entrust, say, friend like another friend of yours a friend like, that's how do i record yeah <laughs> that type of friend I'm yeah like, oh God. i had that moment as lovely as as you are mate um it was quite nerve-wracking at the wish awards <laughs> giving you my camera to that responsibility of having my camera to film us on stage did a great job but you you do worry what you're gonna get when you don't know yeah. what someone's capable of. like if you've never, never used the camera before i mean you don't know what you're gonna get do you i don't think it's a huge problem but, but yes it's a pilot and it's gonna be our first episode we want to make sure it's going to be the best that it can be, so we've just kind of thought, screw it, let's get an audio recordist, and uh, they can they can work out all that kind of stuff. How are you feeling right now, Dan? Um, tired. Very, know, very tired. I'm, 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 I'm trying to right like, now. I'm like glue, trying to hold it together. Trying to hold it together. All those pieces of me. And it, I'm just a little bit nervous about going to the concert tonight, and the hour we get back is making me nervous. Yeah. Based on the little sleep I got last night, this morning, which is self-inflicted. As long as I get three, I can live on three. I've been to work on, literally Thursday, I went to work on it, an hour and a half sleep. So I don't know how you do it. <laughs> no, I was actually dying at work. I was like, this is my last day. I, I should have just taken the day off. Yeah. Like, but I forced myself to go. Because I didn't want to hear it when I get back. So, but then what you don't want to do is have so little sleep that you're so tired the next day that you just look miserable for the whole. Um, I've been constantly tired this whole week. <laughs> it's like constantly dragging over. So I don't know how I'm functioning right now, but I'm here. Oh. And I'm good to go. <laughs> but other than that, I have no idea how we're editing, editing these vlogs or putting them together. But we do what we do normally do is just just wing it. Just wing it. There you go, that could be the next tattoo. Yeah. Just wing it. Yeah, just, just get matching tattoos now. <laughs> Rockstar, mate. I'll even send over the font so you can get the exact. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thirsty, you know. Well, this ain't helping. This is like it's I know, known to I'm make you more thirsty. I know, but no, but I've been just thirsty since I've woken up. That was good. That was just to fill the gap. What was Johnny been? Not filling a gap? 
I mean, it filled it, but you know. <laughs> filled a different gap. <laughs> <laughs> Does this remind you of something then? This exact, almost this exact <laughs> scene, you know? Yeah. It's enough to populate Mars. That's <laughs> what you said, right? Sperm in a cup. <laughs> Sperm in a cup. Oh, it is as well. Yeah. The coconut water. What's the coconut water? I always look at this, I'm like, this would be a great award. Like, I feel like I'm a speech thanking all my uh, true followers for supporting my music video that's going to be releasing next year. Yeah, Morrissey version three. <laughs> Almost did that too. I'm so glad I didn't. That one have just been overkill. Yeah. So the song is titled Closer, featuring Maria Larocco. It sounds amazing on the song. She does sound incredible, actually. I was actually listening to it on the plane. And it was getting me excited. It was, it was night time. I was like, man, this even like a plane sort of vibe. <laughs> I was like, man, it's like Closer. The song is called Closer, and I'm getting closer to the Philippines. I'm getting closer to oh. potentially a future partner. And future mother of my children. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's how I looked at it. I'm excited to shoot the music video. We've got uh, your friend that you met in the UK. He goes by the name of John. How do you, you pronounce his last name? Guales. Guales. John Guales. And we've also got a female talent who's going to be playing the role opposite me. Would you just look at the next video? <laughs> no, please, because. You know, they'll watch one video and then they won't watch the rest, so. That's true. Come on guys, stick with us. You know we, we deliver on content like no other person does. We, we here. Where's, where's your other reactors? Are they here? Are they here? I don't see anybody. I don't see anyone else. So, that's not a dig, that's just an observation. Nah. Thank you for supporting the videos. <laughs>